Hey, hey, y'all, it's your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Y'all know the drill. Put me on pause. Go get your favorite drink. Go get your favorite beverage. Y'all gonna need some tea today. We're spilling the tea today. Wait a minute, can y'all get into my beret? I'm French today. Hello, bonjour, oui, oui. <laughs> y'all know I used to really speak French. I took French in college. Read French books. Why your girl don't know nothing now. But Jim Appel, Shayna. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. If you are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not, hello and welcome. Hey, 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 it's your girl. We just coming by. We're going to do this real quick. We're going to do a quick drive by. I don't know how quick it's going to be. I'm trying to hurry up. But this tea is piping. Hot. We got 14 things on this list, y'all. But I, you know, and actually, I ain't even put all of them. But I said, we got to get into it. Can y'all get into my... My pearled, bejeweled beret. <laughs> All right, y'all. Your girl is on here. Your girl is on here. Let's get it. Let's go. Recognizing frenemies. Frenemies. Who's a frenemy? What is a frenemy? A frenemy is an enemy posing to be a friend. Why we need to, y'all, I wish I had my tea today, but it's been a lot going on in my life. She's a busy gal. <laughs> She's a busy gal. It's a lot going on in my life, and I ain't had no time to fool, fool around with no tea this morning. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Frenemies, this the tea. I'm telling y'all what it is. I have experienced so much in my life. It's actually sickening, and I still continue to experience it. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> She a cool girl, but, you know, she will cut you off. All right, y'all. And y'all know your cutoff game need to be up. Let's go. Let's go through the signs. Let's go through the signs. Number one, they throw low-key shade at you on the regular. Mm. Oh, you like that? As if they don't like it and as if they are the beginning and the end of likes. Okay. Number two. They never compliment you or your wins. They have nothing to say. They are mute. They have nothing to say about you or your wins. Mm -hmm. Number three, they minimize your growth and advancement. So girl, you could have been, look, listen, God watching me. Hello, hello. If you're a man watching me, look. You could have had some other stuff going on. You could have really been struggling. You could have really been struggling. You could have been broke. You know what I'm saying? And it was driving around, was catching the bus. Nothing wrong with catching the bus stuff. We, we go through seasons in life. Now, come on now. And I ain't never too good because God can take you back and remind you where you came from. So, yeah, <laughs> however that goes. But you could have been broke. You know, you could have been riding around. You know, yeah, I know this used to be my story. Shout out to Jesus. But when I was in college, I had this beat up car. This car was so beat up. And um, that's what I had. <laughs> so a girl wanted to be mobile. So that's what I was driving. Y'all, I had to put oil in it like every like week. Like it was the engine was on trash. Okay. It was on its way out. It was on its way to expire six feet under. But I just was like, all right, you know, whatever. I'm going to keep putting oil in it because I'm broke. Yo, hey, glory. If you see me pull up now, you be like, oh, she come a long way, a long way from where she started. Okay, so you could have advanced. You could have got a new car. You could have got a new job. You could have got a new man. You could have got a new bill. You could be having so all this kind of stuff new. They minimize it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, like say you wouldn't got a Benz, right? Shout out to Mercedes Benz. Say you went and got a Benz. Oh, it's not AMG. Uh, can you afford AMG? You asking about my status of my C class? Can you afford AMG? Oh, you got a five, five series BMW. Oh, you got oh you oh, mm, I I would have got a seven. Okay, and you may have got a seven, and you got a husband that makes seven figures. Cut it out. And I'm a single gal. Cut it out. Let's stop. Because if you was on your own, you wouldn't even be able to afford the five. Let's get it. Let's go. We speaking the truth today. All right, y'all. Number four. Your busyness. Oh, your busyness. Y'all, because I'm trying to run through this. Y'all, I got something to do. But look, your business. 
That's what I meant to say. Your business comes back to you through other people that you don't even talk to like that. All of a sudden, you finding out. So you want to Let me tell you something. Frenemies, they are famous for running and dragging a bone, baby. They famous for running and dragging that tea. Oh, girl, let me tell you. Oh, da, da, da. Okay, but that's supposed to be a girl. Cut it out. All right, that's it. Number five. They act like you owe them things, explanations, time, and deeds. Look, listen, I'm a very busy woman. Y'all are a mirror of me. You watching me, you probably are like me. If you're attracted to me, this is probably like some, what I'm sharing with you. It resonates with you on some way, the way I'm giving it to you, right? Y'all get into these curls. Shout out to April. Shout out to April Harris. Get into these curls. Look, let me say something. When you don't owe nobody no explanation for nothing, you're a busy person. You have things to do. If you did something yesterday and you don't feel like doing it today, you ain't got to give nobody no explanation. Bye. I can't come. I'm sorry. You know, deeds, just because you did something last week don't mean you got the financial means to help them out this week. You understand what I'm saying? They feel like they're entitled to what you have because they envy you. And people who envy you want with you want with what you have. Okay, number six. They secretly want everything that you have, not just material. Not just material. They secretly want everything that you have, whether it's your makeup, whether it's um, whether it's your integrity, whether it's your loving and caring spirit, whether it's your personality, whether you, you know, you could maybe dynamic and tell a joke and, you know, or you may be more demure and they want to, and they envy that demureness in you. You know, they envy that classiness in you. They, they want to be, um, upper echelon, but you know, <laughs> shout out to Lil' Cam. I don't look. I don't know if y'all know Lil Kim song. Y'all know I love a B side. Lil Kim got a song called um, "Came Back for You." It's on the Lil Kim album with her with the broad top, leather broad top, suspenders, and it um, it, it's this, it's this, it's the album where the jump off is on. Okay, look, Lil Kim, she was like. You trying to eat lobster and drink champagne, but you know that ain't your groove. You simply a, call, a collard green cornbread bread. Now, if anybody know, I know. That's at the very beginning. Y'all, if y'all don't, if y'all not on that, let me tell you something. That is my song. That is my song. So it's basically, she's saying, look, now you trying to eat lobster and drink champagne. Ain't nothing wrong with your collard greens and cornbread, but you knew you wasn't on that. Now you want to be on it. They want everything that you have. Everything that you have. Number seven. They are dream killers. Dream killer on aisle one. Beware. Dream killer on aisle one. Okay. Every idea you have. Everything you think you want to do or whatever. You want to, you know, you feel like they safe because you feel like they're a friend. You feel like they're a friend because they're so nice. And they, they do so many long, wonderful things for you. We'll get into that in a second. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're great people, you know. So you feel like you can share. And it's like, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, you know, if you do that, then that means that you have to do this, 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 and this. Possibly. And possibly I'm up for the challenge. Possibly that's what God intended me to do. Possibly I can make it. Possibly I was made for it. Possibly this could be my destiny. Okay. And then, oh, to add to that, you don't even ask their opinion, but they keep it to you. Okay, number eight. They are very judgmental of you. The way you dress and the things you do. They're very envious. It goes back to the little Kim came back for you. They're very envious about everything that you do. You know, it's like, uh, okay. They are watching your every move. It's like they wait. They wait. It's probably somebody watching me right now that's a friend of me. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing because sometimes I see some things that I've okay, okay. But um, y'all interpret my tribe, but that's okay because this is public. Anybody can watch you, right? So, like I said, you know, you got those people. They're watching everything that you do. They waiting with bated breath. <laughs> Shout out to Evie, my uh, best friend in the entire world. Evie would say, "Waiting with bated breath." You know the dramatics of it all. Yeah. Okay. Them. Okay. Number nine. They always act like you do the most. 
When in reality, they wish they could do what you do the way you do it or have what you have. Okay. All right. Y'all already know. No explanation needed for that. Number 10. They don't support you publicly. This is good. This is good. I need y'all to rewind this if you need to hear this again. They don't support you publicly. No social media posts. No, you know, and especially if they're a poster. <laughs> you know, they this is what this is what they do. They post it, post it, post. How would it what it what it cost them to hit share? The people who have shared my videos are not the people who I've expected to share them. The people who have sent their videos and messages of friends, oh, watch this one, are not necessarily, some of them are because they're my true blues and I have discernment, right? And some of them, I'm like, really? Y'all, let me tell you something. Don't nothing get past these, baby. Don't nothing get past these and this. All right, I see it all. I mean, I say it all, but I see it all. Okay, so they can't do that. They can't put you, they can't put you um out there like that. You know why? Because they don't want that shine you're going to get. <laughs> they know you got that light. They, get, they know they got that thing, that thing that you that you just do the way you just do it. You that secret sauce. It goes back to that video. If you've not watched my video, um, Consequences of Being an Original, go by and watch that. Like, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They got You got that sauce. They want it, baby. Number 11. When you're doing something new or different, they act like that's not happening and they don't see you. Oh, if I can, if I can act like I don't see her, then I'll, then she won't feel like it's so great what she's doing. If I don't compliment her new hairstyle when everybody says she looks beautiful in it and, and it's really complimentary of her. If I don't say anything, then maybe nobody will notice. Shh. Tell that demon, pack up their stuff and get out. Tell that demon, pack up their stuff and get out. Period. All right, let's go. Number 12. They may do nice, nice things for you, but their intentions are not good. Their intentions are always um, self-serving. So they do nice things for you, for you to fawn over them. For you, for you to think that they're so great. One thing about people who are givers they don't need no applause. A true giver doesn't need applause. A fake giver? Hmm. Okay. Enough said. Y'all can figure it out. Number 13. They always want to be included and or consulted in your personal advancements or they shy away and distance themselves from you when you advance. So one thing I say, well, they'll try to kill it down, shut it down, you know, dream killer, right? We kind of talked about that. But they'll also start to shy away. Y'all, I have examples. Look, I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm about to give it to you. Okay, so your girl, picture it, me. Ah, ah, 19, ah, not going to say the year. <laughs> 19, boom, boom, boom. Look, I'm getting ready. I'm in college and, you know, I'm struggling. Okay? So, eventually I made it. Well, yeah, yes, yeah. so I was struggling in the 90s. Right? Eventually I made it. Da -da -da. So then, in the 2000s, because she was struggling, the girl finally made it, y'all. The girl finally's about to get that degree, y'all. And the frenemy did not come to my graduation. The friend of me did not call me. None of that. Okay. Could be watching now. <laughs> Probably is watching now. All I'm going to say, okay, and I ain't being messy. I'm just being truthful. Y'all my people. Y'all come for the truth, okay? And I'm going to tell you the truth because I've been in situations that you've been in. And I want you to not make, if you've been where I've been, then you can relate and you can say, you know what? She right. If you haven't been what I've been, been where I've been through and you're younger than me or you're watching me and you found me, I'm trying to give you some game and tell you some things so you don't necessarily make the mistakes that I made. Okay? Because that was a mistake. At that point, friendship should have been over. But it wasn't. Okay? So, 
that kind of stuff. They kind of shy away too. All right, number 14, last but not least, I talked about this at the beginning of 2021 about who has to go, setting boundaries. They copy you. Goes back to that being an original. Guess what? They copying you, but guess what? They're a slave to you then. If they're waiting for you to put out content, if they're waiting for you to post, if they're waiting for you to do all this stuff, then they're a slave to you then, right? They're a slave to you. Y'all my people. Y'all my people. Y'all know what it is. I love y'all. Look, I hope this has helped you. We all have had a frenemy at some point in our lives. If you have not, I have one thing to say to you. Keep living and consult this video later. <laughs> all right, y'all. I love y'all daily. I don't know how much y'all know how much I love y'all, how much I appreciate y'all. I've been going through some turmoil, but coming on here and talking to y'all has actually been therapeutic for me. So I thank you for that. I thank you. All right, y'all brings me to my spiel. Y'all know the deal. Ain't nobody better than you. You deserve the best out of life. Despite what these friend of me say and how they act, we don't need their approval. God already approved you point blank period. Even if you don't perfect it, even if it's not perfection, it don't matter. You're approved and you're worthy. All right, y'all brings me to my spiel. I hope this message has not Oh, follow me on the gram. I'll listen down below. I'll be talking about frenemies and whatever feels good to my soul all week. All right, y'all. Brings me to my spiel. I hope this message has inspired you. I hope this message finds you blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next